starts on November 22nd, 2015. Of course, 52 years to the day of JFK being shot. The Leafs doing decent, but then they lost to Boston last night. Vancouver beating Chicago, one of the demons of the Vancouver Canucks. Um, the Jets getting their butts handed to them by the Coyotes. And Carey Price is back for the Habs as they face the Islanders on, to, on tonight's hometown hockey. So, anyway, this is the top 10. First top 10 is the worst Michael Cole moments. This block will be all about wrestling, by the way. Number 10, calling Booker T ugly. Now, of course, Booker T is a five-time WCW champion. And he's a w He's been WWE Heavyweight Champion until, too. During Cody Rhodes' run as the undashing character, the guy who would pay, hand out paper bag masks to his ugly fans, and the fans would wear it. Booker T would receive a bag from Cody's assistants. But the problem was that when Booker was in the commentary chair with Michael Cole, Michael Cole went over the top of his heel character. All that. Yeah. Number nine. Worst worldwide trend ever. On an episode of Raw, Mark Henry put Jerry the King Lawler through a table and made sure that Jerry the King Lawler was out as commentator the following week, Michael Cole was listing the, the injury Jerry Lawler sustained. He accidentally named anal bleeding with one of the ailments. And Booker T, of course, was upset at the commentary table what Michael Cole said. The moment was so ridiculous that anal bleeding trended worldwide on tr Twitter, and fans were thinking, was that actually on Raw? Yeah, it was. Number eight, insulting Jim Ross's weight. He's not the first to insult Jim Ross. It would be Vince McMahon who always made fun of G um, Jim Ross. But anyway, Michael Cole, as his heel run, decided to take a stab at Jim Ross. I guess the job he took away from him. So, of course, he made fun of JR's weight and all that. It was just terrible. Number seven, the anim uh, anonymous GM. Michael Cole was in, per in the perfect position when the anonymous GM started because Michael Cole got to read the emails from the anonymous raw general manager and he got to be one of the best heel runs so of course fans just got angry at michael cole and of course hornswoggle became the anonymous raw gm and that ended michael cole's run as a heel <coughs> what do you think number six humiliating the nxt divas before NXT was the big developmental brand, there was a comp competition for wrestlers to win the spot on Raw and SmackDown, competing in silly competitions like trivia contests and obstacle courses. The show wasn't taken seriously, and Michael Cole would just run down the wrestlers. The all-female season of Divas, Nicole and Josh Matthews would make bad jokes about the women during every match and segment. He would actually have a gong to embarrass AJ Lee, Naomi, and Caitlin. Number five, the homophobic tweet. Michael Cole sent a controversial tweet to Josh Matthews. And of course, those two would have playful insults on air, but Cole went too far when he gave Josh Matthews a homophobic slur. Cole tried to delete the tweet, but unfortunately, too little too late. He would have to be in sensitivity classes. Anyway, number four, mocking JR's Bell's palsy. Jeez. The reason why it's so bad is because 
Vince McMahon did it first. So anyway, on SmackDown, Cole made a cruel remark about Jim Ross's Bell's policy. Someone said to Cole that he was talking out of both sides of his mouth. And he replied with, actually, there's nothing wrong with my mouth, unlike JR's. Gee, I don't know why. Number three, Jerry Lawler's mother. In the old days, nothing was too personal for a heel to bring up in a promo. But anyway, when Cole was in the match with Jerry the King Lawler, he crossed the line by getting personal with Lawler. Cole made tasteless comments about Lawler's mother because she recently passed away. Everyone thought it went too far. Number two, over the limit against Jerry the King Lawler. Anyway, in his match against Jerry Lawler at Over the Limit, it was a kiss my foot match, and Michael Cole lost to the legendary wrestler. So anyway, Lawler, Jim Ross, Bret Hart, and Eve got revenge for Michael Cole for all his sins and all that. And Michael Cole had to kiss Lawler's foot while JR poured barbecue sauce all over him. It's not something anyone wants to see. Well, I did. And number one was WrestleMania 27. Worst match in WrestleMania history. Yeah, I don't think so. It's amazing that it took 15 minutes. It was the third longest match. The Cena, Miz, and Undertaker Triple H matches were the only ones that lasted longer in WrestleMania 27. And Michael Cole got the win by DQ thanks to that. And now I'm with GM. The weird thing is that Sheamus and Daniel Bryan were actually bumped off the main card. That was the match that bumped them off. And of course Sheamus would take care of Daniel Bryan in the next WrestleMania in Miami, by the way. So anyway, that's all Michael Cole's misdeeds. And fuck, there were too many of them to mention. I just hate that guy. So fuck you, Michael Cole. Fuck you all.